Hey there, welcome to Bull City Lawyer TV live on Facebook.com. Today we're trying something new. I'm taking questions from Core.com, asked by people looking for answers from immigration lawyers, and I'm going to try and answer it at live. As you're watching, please tell me what you think of the broadcast. I love to hear from you. All right, so today's question was asked by somebody named Gabe Rob Faber. And it is, has anyone filing for a green card had to prove how they were being supported during periods of unemployment with or without employment authorization? Gabe, this is a great question. So whether you're getting a green card through an I-130 or an I-140, what happens during that process is that somebody, either a family member that's petitioning for you or an employer that owns a part of the business that's sponsoring you in the case of the I-140 has to sign something called the Affidavit of Support. At that point, it's not your income that matters. It's not your unemployment that matters. It's the income of your sponsor. They have to, unless they're in the military, be able to show that they have 125% uh, of the poverty line income, uh, which you can find on the 864P for any given year um, for their household size. If they're a family member and it's a different, though similar calculation for the employer. So whether you've been unemployed or you've worked without employment authorization doesn't really go into that particular aspect of your green card case. Um, that being said, if you've worked without employment authorization, you should probably almost definitely talk to a legal service provider, an immigration attorney, so they can help you out with more with that aspect of your case and what sort of implications it can have for your immigration process going forward. So again, in today's quick Facebook Live question, question and answer, we looked at the core question, has anyone filing for a green card had to prove how they were being supported during periods of unemployment with or without authorization and it's not the person applying for the green card, it's the sponsor who's sponsoring a person for a green card that this question most strongly pertains to you. To, uh, excuse me, pertains to. So if you found this helpful, please let us know. We're going to post it here on our page. You can always come back and see the recording. Until then, again, this is Bull City Lawyer, Immigration, and Small Business Law, and we hope that you enjoyed the broadcast and found it useful.